This week on Ninja Lab, the bad news is there's only one qualifier to go over. The good news, that qualifier was held at the Movement Laboratory, which is owned and operated by the great, smart, and handsome Chris Wilczewski. Also, he's the one who sized my checks for these videos. Hey Chris, how's it going? Anyway, hello, my name is William, and I am here to give you the results for this week's episode. Let's get things started. In third place for the adult female division was Heather Petty. Heather had no problem getting through the first few obstacles of the course, but when she reached the first barrier of Kane Lane, her grip gave out and she went down on the course. In second place was Mei Ling Huang. Mei Ling was able to get through the first few obstacles faster than Heather. However, when she reached Kane Lane, she unfortunately whiffed the track and went down before ever really getting started. Unfortunately, all the women were taken out by Kane Lane. However, the one who finished in first place was Abby Clark, who reached the obstacle the fastest and was unfortunately taken out by the second barrier of the obstacle. Before we go over the results for the male division, I would just like to remind everyone to check out NationalNinja.com in order to find out the upcoming schedule for qualifiers as well as our world championship which will be held in February. And it is time for our comment question of the week. In honor of YouTube Rewind coming out, I would like to know what is your favorite ninja related moment of 2019? Leave your answers in the comments down below. In case you haven't noticed, competitors are required to bring the cane with them throughout the entire course. For the adult male division, third place was Ivan King. Even though Ivan was able to find a unique skip through the sixth obstacle, he unfortunately forgot to bring the cane with him after the ninth obstacle and timed out on the final obstacle in the course because he was unable to reach the buzzer. In second place was the Phoenix, Naji Richardson. Naji had a steady and methodical approach through the course as he made his way through every obstacle in a calm manner. And he actually was able to finish the course in 2 minutes and 18.17 seconds, which is actually faster than it took Ivan King to complete 9 obstacles. This earns Naji 9 more points into his season total. It was looking like Naji might be the winner of this qualifier until the very last runner, Joe Capo, took on the course. Capo, while remaining calm, was able to speed through the course and finish the whole thing in 1 minute and 40.61 seconds, almost a full 30 seconds faster than Naji did. Capo looked just completely calm on the course, and he did well, and he earns 10 more points, just like Abby. Hey, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to know when new videos go live and make sure you watch full runs from all the different qualifiers held this season. See you later.